These butcher block countertops have become real popular. I noticed that the one brand that the big box store was carrying, they had discontinued and started carrying this one and it was a little bit cheaper. Um, I wasn't buying it because it was cheaper. I was just wanting a butcher block uh, countertop. It was this size. So I just pulled the plastic off of it and wanted to let you see what's going on here. Now that, you know, it could have happened anywhere in, you know, shipping and I don't hold them responsible for some marring in the wood that could have happened, you know, anywhere around. But what I do really believe that should not happen is like this is a little piece of tear out, you know, so that means that this whole board's going to have to come down. You know, you see this, this is, you know, almost an eighth of an inch deep here. Um, you know, at first I'm like, okay, well maybe something hit it. But as I started going through this countertop, I started seeing more and more things. You know, I, um, I'm plumb sick to my stomach. I was expecting this to be just an unfinished, ready to use countertop. The package says, you know, it must be finished within 24 hours of pulling the plastic off. Well, here I don't even have the plastic all off of it, but um, you can see that one, I mean, it's not even sanded very smooth. You know, the fibers are all sticking up. It's very rough. You put your arm on it. But the big thing is, is one is not even flat when I ran my hand across it. And it's not like it's a warp, you know, where it was sitting somewhere. But when you run your hand across this top, you know, it's almost like you can feel every joint. It's just an up and down, up and down. You know, that, you know, is going to take a lot of sanding to get out of there. So I apologize if the video uh, is not the great on this because this is uh, just with my cell phone. Um, you can see right here, there's another big piece of the knot. Uh, got a big, huge piece of uh, wood missing right here. You can see where there's open grain and it's like some bark up in there. You know, I just, I was really surprised at so many things. And as I pulled around, you know, here's glue that had uh, squeezed out. And you can see that joint is kind of halfway separated. The joint isn't even, you know, you can see, you know, space up in that joint where the boards were like too narrow. Then you got spots like this where they actually did go in and fill in the hole with some sawdust. And it's just like they took some sawdust and squirted some super glue on it. And there's uh, several spots like that, you know, um, you know, so if you're looking for a sawdust joint and then, you know, here's a big old crack in the end that they didn't fill up. So now you got a big old crack right there. You know, a lot of these little knot holes uh, look like the uh, piece of knots about to come out of the wood. You know, I, um, you know, don't want to beat a dead horse here, but, you know, it's just, um, there was just so many pieces of tear out you know where they did run this through a planer and you know a few of them they filled in here's another spot that was filled in with some sawdust and then they squirted like some super glue on it here's a crack on the end that was partially filled but you can see the hole in the end of it where it wasn't even fully filled in here's some more tear out you know it's just crazy so here I'm trying to show where when I had the big straight edge going across, it would hit the real hot spots and then you couldn't see all the little imperfections in it. But like you can see right here, it's almost every joint uh, on this wood, it's like the pieces of wood weren't square um, whenever they put them across. So, you know, I mean, when you put the big one, it's just a big one, big, you know, light that you can see under it. But when you cut it, you know, the saw blade should cut this pretty straight. And I don't even get how they got this here. I don't know if they're hand cutting this with a skill saw. But if you look, I mean, um, I've got this square here. Okay, it's touching at the top. And now there's a big old gap at the bottom, you know. And then there's a gap at the uh, bottom and at the top. And then it'll be, you know, hitting in the middle and a gap at the top and the bottom. I mean, I, I just uh, don't even see how you could get this much uh, variance, you know, if this was cut with a, any kind of power tool or saw, it just blows my mind at how, you know, unsquare the cut is. And, you know, the whole edge of this board um, is just uh, completely 
you know, and it's not the same all the way across. You know, if uh, if your blade was, you know, skewed and at 49 or 48 degrees or something, you would expect a straight cut. But the, the cut on this thing is just, um, you know, I, I can't explain how it was cut there the way it was. So here is the end grain. You know, typically when I cut a board, even on the end grain, it's smoother than this. I mean, I've cut pine boards that came out smoother than this. So I don't know what, if it's their blade or not. I haven't cut this yet. Um, I'll find out here soon whenever uh, I start cutting this because the whole tabletop's not even square. I put my square uh, on the corner and uh, none of the cuts are square. It's just, um, you know, I, I just don't even know what else to say about this. But, you know, I went ahead and across the long edge here, I clamped my uh, level here and it was touching at the very end there and then you could even see the curve um, where I don't know what they used to sand in but I mean going across you know there was uh, gaps all over the place and then when I got down here to the end I mean it's almost an eighth of a, you know sixteenth of an inch um, gap so you know, well, maybe, you know, it said it was unfinished, so you got to cut it to the finished size. You know, that's what I was thinking. Well, maybe I uh, misread it, you know, because the package said unfinished. And I, so let me cut it down to the size I need. Well, I'll put my tape measure across here. It's supposed to be 39 inches. Well, it don't quite reach 39 inches, so I'm already, you know, a 16th short. Let me know down in the comments if I'm just an idiot for expecting this to have been kind of close to being ready. You know, I um, hoping to get this out and I was planning on just cutting this to size, maybe rounding over the edges and throwing a little uh, finish on it. But oh well, it didn't happen.